I got into local government initially because um, I was unhappy with the decision that was being made by the local council or, or being prepared by the local council at the time. I became a strong advocate against that decision, um, which led me to standing for Wagga Wagga City Council and then realising that um, I would be literally outside of the room when the decision was made on it um, anyhow. So I channelled my efforts into more productive outcomes and became an absolute lover and passionate member of Wagga Wagga City Council. Local government is the closest government to the people. It's the thing that affects people uh, most personally. It's how their community operates. You have a state government that works on how the state operates. You have a federal government that works on how the whole nation operates. But your local council and your local government is what runs and determines the fate of your local community. So it's so important that you engage and be part of the progression and growth of your local community. And by being a Wagga Wagga City Councillor, you can play a very important role in that. Fantastic. I, it was the making of me as a person. I felt my years on, on local government as a Wagga Wagga City Councillor actually developed me, developed my skills, developed my confidence, developed my ability to be able to present in public, developed my understanding of how finances and corporates work, developed my understanding as how community needs to be cohesive. It made me a true community member. I just feel it's such a strong, it's such a play such a strong role in your life and you can grow so much from being in local government. The challenges are clearly that um, you can't make decisions that will please everybody all of the time. If you try to do that you will fail. There is no way you can achieve that. You have to be prepared to take the tough, the tough decisions um, and face local criticism. You can't be thin-skinned. You have to be prepared to, you know, to do 100 things right and nobody comment on it, but the first thing you do wrong, everybody wants to come down on top of you um, like a ton of bricks. So you have to, you have to develop uh, hard skin, but you also have to know that your integrity sees through, that you're making decisions for the right reasons and that they really aren't questionable. You have to believe in yourself. All the stuff I'm saying now. <laughs> I think that if you're going to run for Wagga Wagga City Council or any council, it should be the pride and passion that you have in your community. You should want to make a meaningful contribution. You should want to have a place where your children and your grandchildren and thereafter can grow and prosper in our city. Our children should not have to leave our community to go to the city to find jobs. Your aim and objective should be to ensure that you profile this city in the most positive light, to ensure that you can attract new opportunities, new job opportunities, new personal community opportunities, and ensure that we have a healthy, educated society. I think that's, that's, a, that's a great start for you if you want to be on Wagga Wagga City Council, that it is true and genuine, that you love our community and you want it to prosper and grow, and that you don't want to be divisive.